Hello, it's Jane Blees here, sharing my thought for the week for King's Church Warrington. Um, when I first realised that this little video um, would be going online on the 17th of February for the first time, it immediately triggered my thinking to connect with the fact that it was actually the date of my wedding anniversary. Um, and as my mind pondered that, I, I began to think about the fact that the promises and the commitment that we make at a wedding are actually very similar to what's required in a covenant. In a covenant, we need to have the um, giving of a token and the making of vows and it needs to be before witnesses. And at our wedding, um, Jeff gave me a ring and we both made vows to love, honour and obey, they were mine, and we also had witnesses. Um, and so I, I was really interested in that fact and when I began to think more about the covenant that God would make with us as believers in Christ. And I know that um, for myself and I'm sure for most people who go through a match, we all want to do our absolute best to keep those promises. Life is very challenging and stuff happens and I guess many of us fail, uh, maybe in one way or another. But of course, with God, he never fails. And when you have in a covenant with God, isn't that marvellous to know that his love is completely consistent? He, it will never change. Um, he may be grieved by the things that we do, but he will continue to love us and to help and guide us. His love is unconditional um, and so very different from the, the love of human beings. God's love is far superior, agape love sacrificial love. Um, and so for a, a Christian, um, you know, somebody who's given their life to Christ, um, then they come into a covenant with Almighty God and can begin to flourish with his love in their lives. Um, and, and Father God just longs for us to know him in such a close and intimate way. Um, and he longs for us to bring all of the issues of our life to him and find that he will guide us and he will help us and he will give us wisdom in all these different situations that we face. And his heart is to bless us. It really is. God makes himself fully available to us. I mean, it, he, is, he is the covenant-keeping God. That means everything that he is and he has, he says, I am making available to you. That's his part. I mean, Jesus Christ has laid down his life. What more can he do? But we have a part to play too. And our part in the covenant is to give of ourselves completely, to commit ourselves to follow him and to trust him, to have him as Lord in our lives. So there's two parts, God's part and our part. And then the wonderful thing is that God will seal that covenant by giving us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes into our life to flood our lives with his love, which is absolutely transforming, isn't it? It's wonderful. God lavishes his love upon us. In 1 John 3, verse 1, in the Passion Translation, it says, Look with wonder at the depth of the Father's marvellous love that he lavished on us. So, it's just such a wonderful thing to know. And there are tremendous benefits, of course, with being in covenant with God. And we can read about some of those covenants in Psalm 103. Things like he forgives all our sin, that he heals all our diseases, that he, he fills our, our life with good things and renews us, um, keeps us young, that uh, he's redeemed our life from the pit. He's crowned us with steadfast love and kindness. I mean, wonderful benefits. And so really, my thought for this week particularly, um, for you and for me, is, is just to focus again on what it means to be in covenant with Almighty God, who will never fail us, who will never leave us, and is absolutely committed to us. So I pray you'll have a really great day as you think about these things. God bless you. Bye.